Are you sick of searching through the endless mess of mid-journey images to find the ones that you created? Scrolling back and forth in that hyper-fast Discord channel only to find an image and then have it jump and move on from you? Well, if you've moved beyond the 25 image free plan, then your problems are over because I am gonna show you two great options to create your own mid-journey room or even your own mid-journey server in just seconds. Welcome in guys, I'm David Tatera and I teach AI for marketers. All right, so you're ready to get out of this crazy mess of moving images. Your option number one is DM the Discord bot. Yep, if you are a paid member of Midjourney, you can go right over here and say that you wanna message the Discord bot and you'll notice over here in my direct messages, boom, suddenly I have a message channel with this Discord bot. Oftentimes people I know run into this problem when they start DMing the bot. If you get this cannot send message error, it's because of the preferences you have on that server, which just means you need to enable direct messages. So click on your server over here, privacy settings, make sure that you have direct messages enabled. Now you can go back into this DM bot, and just like that, you've got your own private room now where you can keep all of your prompts separate from the rest of the world. As you can see, pretty useful, but not as useful as this next option. And that is to create your own server for Midjourney. Big shout out to my friend, Matt Wolf, who showed me this trick. Thank you, Matt. This has been extremely helpful. So I'm gonna go over here to my news and create a new server for me and my friends. And I'm gonna call it my mid-journey server. And as you can see, there's nothing really going on in it, but I'm gonna go back over here to mid-journey and I'll need to show the member list and then when I click on the Midjourney bot, I have an option called add to server. So my server, my Midjourney server, I'm going to add it there. And just like that, it has been authorized into my new Midjourney server. There we go. All set in my new channel. Now the beautiful thing about this is, since I have my own server, I can create multiple channels. So let's say I wanna create a channel for my, for my coloring pages. I'm working on a project with a bunch of coloring pages. Boom, now I have a separate coloring page channel and I can work in here and I can use all the commands in here and that'll let me keep everything that I'm working on for my coloring pages and all the prompts that I'm using in this channel. But if I wanna have another channel for my YouTube thumbnails, now I've got a different one and that's gonna have all the work that I do on that one and any of the prompts that I work on in there are gonna get saved into that channel. Makes keeping your work organized much easier. If this little quick tutorial was helpful to you as well, please show me some appreciation by clicking that like and subscribe button. Also, leave me a comment to know what you did or did not like in this tutorial so that I can make sure to improve any future content. Speaking of which, if you are a Midjourney user, you really need to see this next trick I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna let you pull up any old image you've ever made with Midjourney and change or revise it. Sound pretty cool? Then you need to click up here.